Hi, this is Simon from HomeKit News and today we're going to have a quick run through of the new Mi Desk Lamp Pro, the latest device under the Xiaomi umbrella to come with HomeKit support, following on from the Acara Hub and the recent Mi Bedside Lamp 2. Let's have a look. So, as you can see, it comes in a fairly large box and well protected against drops and knocks. Uh, inside the box you simply get the manual, the power supply and of course the lamp itself. If you're an owner of the previous generation lamp you'll notice the main difference in this lamp is that it has a lot more articulation. Although the dimensions of both generation lamps are approximately the same, the Pro version does have a further reach due to the articulated joints. Apart from the aforementioned dimensions, the lamp uses a Type A 2-pin plug suitable for North America and other countries. Although this lamp is suitable for anywhere that uses between 100 and 240 volts, that's pretty much anywhere. The lamp also has Bluetooth, although this is only really used for initial pairing. The LED part of the lamp is capable of producing cool to warm whites between 2500 and 4800K, although it does lean slightly more towards the warm side of the white spectrum. Onto the basic functions of the dial on the base of the lamp. Pressing the dial simply turns the light on or off, while rotating the dial while the light is on adjusts the brightness of the lamp. Pressing and holding whilst turning the dial will adjust the colour temperature of the light. And finally, if you double press on the dial, this calls for a preset or user programmed function like the Pomodoro preset. If you're thinking of buying this lamp and want to use it in both the Mi Home and Apple Home apps, you should begin by installing it via Mi Home first. The installation procedure is pretty straightforward itself by simply following the on-screen instructions in the app. The device will need your Wi-Fi details and will then start to connect. Once connected, assuming you then want it to be exposed to HomeKit, simply long press on the device's tile. A HomeKit icon will appear at the bottom of the screen and once you press this, you will go through the familiar HomeKit installation procedure which involves scanning the HomeKit code, adding it to a room and then finally deciding on a name and whether you want it as a favourite. You'll then return once again to the Mi Home app, but if you now look in the Home app, you'll notice your new desk lamp will appear. As it's now exposed to HomeKit, just like any other device, you get control of the brightness, colour temperature, along with the ability to add it to scenes and automations. In addition to the lamp being exposed to HomeKit, the lamp can also be controlled in the Mi Home app where we first set it up, and it can also be controlled via the Yeelight app, which allows for Amazon and Google integration. So summing up, this is a fantastic piece of kit for many reasons, but the main plus points are that it's HomeKit compatible. Compared to the original non-HomeKit version, this also has extra articulated joints for more functionality. And despite the relatively low price tag, the build quality is really solid. It works with multiple apps and platforms, so you're spoiled for choice in that respect. And it's one of the few HomeKit lamps on the market right now. So I really haven't got a bad word to say about this product essentially, so I thoroughly recommend it. If you do want to know more about this lamp, then just head over to homekitnews.com where you can read the full review. Thanks again, see you soon.